Here last week, I had another wheelchair donated to me. That big one right there, which there's going to be more on that in just a second. But uh, I've been building these wicked-ass wheelchairs that are different from anything else you've ever seen. So, And it all started out, really, with this, which is the original rat roller, or what I call my rat roller. And uh, a friend of mine donated this to me that I went to high school with. And uh, it was in very, very rough shape. I'm not sure just what all happened to it, but it looked like it fell off the mobility scooter rack on the back of a vehicle and got hit by another vehicle. So uh, I turned it into this and I scavenged parts here and there. And I mean, this old sign here came from an old biker beer joint here in town that closed down. It was called Nezzy's. I didn't really go there a lot. I've only been in there a few times for the clothes, but and that license plate's off my Ford Escort station wagon I used to own, and it went all the way halfway across the United States and back, man. Had a five-week incredible, just total adventure with it, so. But it's got bits and pieces of my life in it, and uh, then I had to build another one. So then I built Mad Max 2. And this is actually two because Mad Max 1 looked almost identical, but it had a solid beam transaxles on it. And that ended up finally just wearing out. I couldn't get another computer box for it. It just so damn old it wasn't worth it. I had two other wheelchairs donated to me. And uh, I ended up taking and had, you know, the same concept, and I built Mad Max 2. This one's got torsion bar suspension, so I had to whack off all the ends of the torsion bars there. I left just a little bit of the bolt and the nut to keep it tight. But this thing has worked flawless. I've already hauled a, a dead pig out of the woods with that and caught bass. I use that for the, the smaller stuff. And they're getting around, you know, short distances around camp. That works out good when I'm outdoors. The rat roller, it's been the badass of all because I've used it to tow stuff. I've got my late Roddy's choke chain. I use it to hook on the shopping carts that are fully loaded, tow them all over the damn grocery store. Man, I've, I've hauled 300 pounds of corn at least 300 yards in a trailer with me on this. And it, it got me there, but it kept dying. It just overheat and overheat. You had to wait for it to reset. and then, But that's always been a problem. And then this year, every day where I deer hunt, I took Bimbo on a one-mile walk. And we did it every day. This thing was a beast. But I didn't realize that this bearing here and the rear end, the differential, it was going out. I kept hearing the squeak every now and then, and then it started dripping oil, and by that time it was too late. I totally destroyed the rear end. Luckily, my friend at Frank's, he had another rear end. The last one, it cost me $100 to replace it, but you know what, to me it was worth it. I mean, even though it's a piece of junk, that thing, I can't put a price tag on it. But it does have its weak spots. So, this is where this Maxima that was just donated to me is going to come into handy. But before I talk about the Maxima, I want to show you where my addiction just didn't stop with these two. Two years ago, right before hunting season, I got bored and I built Hell's Conspiracy. This used to be a golden companion mobility scooter it don't look nothing like it used to but ladies and gentlemen i built this whole thing right here right there where that one sits and regardless of all the welding <clears throat> excuse me regardless of all the welding i did that across the street at the welding shop i got two right across the street so all i gotta do is just pick a welder i'm so lucky but this is my pride and joy. I have put 
a lot of thought into building this one. And it, it's, it's basically a, a concrete princess. This is not nowhere off road or anything. Hold on just a second, my dog wants in. It's 103 degrees outside. Come on in, Bimbo. And uh, that's why I'm filming inside. I'm just making an indoor shop, so. But anyway, that's Hell's Conspiracy. There's a story behind it. If y'all want to see more on this one, let me know. If you want to see more about this one, just post in the comments. Same thing with a rat rotor. How did I do this? How did I do that? Post your questions. I'll answer them. Now, for the Maxima. I think this is about a four-year-old Pride, Pride Mobility Maxima. And the owner of this passed away last week, and the family agreed to donate it to me. Because they know I do some pretty cool stuff. I've been trying to figure out how can I solve my weight issue because I love to bow hunt. I got to be able to get down to the woods without making a lot of noise and I'll be able to carry all my gear and extra feed and stuff. So this has a 500 pound capacity rating. It, it, it is for very big people. So it's going to be able to handle what I can throw at it where the rat roller too can't. Well, I can't call that Rat Roller 2. It's Rat Roller 1. I'm thinking about calling this Rat Roller 2, but it ain't going to be nothing like that. I got something else in mind, so. I'm fixing to start this build, ladies and gentlemen. If you're interested in watching, there's going to be a series of videos. I ain't one of them big old YouTubers or nothing. I'm just a, a poor man in a damn wheelchair just trying to survive. Social Security ain't as nice as it used to be, so my income is so limited, so if anybody has an old race car seat with a cover, like one of these old RCIs, I would prefer a 20 degree incline, but you know, I can make do. Old Kirkies, I prefer a 15 inch seat, 16 inch is okay. 17, I start sliding around, and when I get off-road, sometimes these sands get so rough, ladies and gentlemen, it can, it can toss you out. So, by any means, are my wheelchairs safe? No. But are they functional? 110%. So, well, it's time for me to get some food. Here we go. It's time. Tear it down. Let's see what we got to work with. Sometimes you just have to have a good old crowbar. And if you like metal music like I do, Crowbar is one of my favorite bands. persuasion there. I'm going to put this over here on the tool bench. And we'll get back to disassembling this old bad boy.
just like my last divorce, ladies and gentlemen. We have separation. That's how everything starts. And then you rebuild from there. How many people knew one of these scooters did this? So it make it easier to do things when I break it down into pieces and then figure out where to go from there. It's very unstable when you lift it up. That work. Uh oh. I worked myself into a tight spot. Oh well. This is a very, very old Trevor house. So nothing's hurt. <clears throat> Let's just leave that alone for a little bit. Let's we need to pop these off. We need to look at these hubs real quick. These hubs play a big factor in what I want to do here. Seeing that this is a heavy duty rear end. I'm gonna start doing some tire size. Poof! I got the wrench I need. Good old Matt. I don't know what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen. I've never turned a wrench before in my life. But if you're wondering, I've been an automotive mechanic, diesel mechanic, heavy equipment, truck mechanic, servicer, operator, and then muscular dystrophy caught up with me. And that changed the whole ball game. So here I am, taking care of wheelchairs, building crazy wheelchairs in my kitchen. I really want to work in a race car shop again, but. Most of these people don't want to hire an old crippled man like me anymore. Kind of used up in the industry. And that's the fact of that. Why do you want to pay somebody with this man's kind of experience when you can get a younger dude and not have to pay him all the benefits and shit? You know what I mean? I need to take, put this <clears throat> on here, like a dot, and then let's run this bad boy down. Now see, she was laying in there sideways, and I'm tipping it up. 
because that's the only way it's going to fit. Oop, other way. Sun starting to go down. That means it's finally going to cool down in Texas, and my AC is going to get a chance to take a break. Man, my AC has just been ripping out here lately. Okay, now we're going to turn this sucker over. What else do I need to get to? I think I'll be able to get to these other ones. See, these are blocks, and uh, I'm going to take them out, and I'm going to put some shock bushings off of a car in here. I've got some out there in the shed that I know will fit in here, and uh, that'll give me a little bit more cushion. Act like a shock absorber, and give me a little bit more lift. Well, I went ahead and put the wheels back on. I got the differential flopped and turned over. I, uh, I'm going to try to put this thing back together so I can move it around and I'll be able to clean up my floor. Let's see if I made this back boy back together now. Okay, folks, I missed a step here, and I didn't video it, but I went ahead, put the wheels back on it, got it back together, put the batteries back in it, so I could move it. And, um, well, here, I'm going to show you. Look how much ground clearance we've got now. I mean, I should have measured all this before we started, but if you remember, it, it's up to almost three inches now. No money spent, just flop it. So, now I got more room for the big tires. But this is going to be my new hot rod for sure. I got so many ideas, but uh, we're just going to take a little bit of time here. Okay, well, the next step I'll be sharing with you in a video coming soon. So stay tuned. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them.